Rarible and OpenSea are both NFT marketplaces where people can create, purchase, or sell NFTs ranging from arts, collectibles, sports, and games. And they're both powered by the Ethereum blockchain. Now on today's video, we are going to talk about the difference between Rarible and OpenSea. This is Stock Market Now. Before we continue, do make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up so that we can create more informational and educational videos for you to consume. With that said, let's get right into the video. First, let's discuss the difference between Rarible and OpenSea based on onboarding. Now in terms of new users, OpenSea does an excellent job of onboarding new crypto users by providing tutorials and information on how to get started, as well as how to build and sell NFTs on their marketplace. Now the interesting thing is that the OpenSea tutorial goes into great detail about how to get started on their platform, including how to choose the right wallet, how to get Ethereum so you can sell or purchase entities, and how the entire marketplace works. They do a good job with that, which is awesome because from the perspective of a new user who is very unfamiliar with NFTs or cryptocurrency, it will assist them in learning the entire process. Rarible, on the other hand, offers a straightforward onboarding process for new users, but it is geared toward those who are more experienced and knowledgeable about crypto and entities, and they do not provide as many information or guides for new users. As a result, OpenSea claimed victory in this round. Now let's talk about the cost of using both platforms for both buyers and sellers. On the buyer side, it's essentially the same, whether you are using Rarible or OpenSea. You must pay a transaction fee every time you buy an NFT on both platforms. If you're a seller and if you're using Rarible or OpenSea, you'll notice some discrepancies. Now when someone bids on your items on Rarible, for example, the seller is still responsible for gas fees for each bid received. And when you sell an item on Rarible, you are still responsible for gas fee or a transaction fee. So it's a total hassle. You must pay two transaction fees as a Rarible seller. Now one of the bidding fee if you do an auction. And the other is the sale fee every time you sell an item on Rarible. The expense is really high since transaction fees on the Ethereum blockchain are so high. If you're a seller on OpenSea, on the other hand, you only have to pay a one-time transaction fee or listing NFT. And buyers must pay the transaction fee each time they buy your NFT. The cost is extremely high because transaction fees are so high, but they do manage to make it more affordable for sellers on OpenSea to sell their entities to other people, which is awesome. And they even mention so on the website. Now when it comes to the cost of both platforms, OpenSea is the better option. Let's compare both Rarible and OpenSea based on services they provide. There are a lot more services available with OpenSea. You could create your own web store online in addition to selling or buying NFTs on their platform, which is super interesting. You can't make your own web store with Rarible. Instead, you can only buy and sell directly on their platform. Obviously, you could use OpenSea to create your own online store. It's great that you can open your own NMT store. Again, OpenSea has the overwhelming advantage. Now let's compare OpenSea and Rarible's financials in terms of how they've been performing. On the one hand, Rarible has been doing exceptionally well. In September of last year, 2020, Rarible produced about 8.5 million in trading volume. Now the trade volume on OpenSea has also risen to 3 million, but 
it is still nearly three times lower than Rarible. Rarible has been doing exceptionally well in terms of trading volume, and they have far exceeded their expectations in the NFT space, which is incredible. The listing of Rarible's governance token was another significant factor in the company's growth. The Rarible token is currently available on many exchanges and is ranked at 734 on CoinWireCap with a price of $14.39. But as you may know, the price of a token used to be around a dollar, but it has now risen to $24 which is unbelievable and so when it comes to evaluating the two based on financial economics and how they've performed rarible had prevailed given what has already been said the winner of this battle between OpenSea and rarible is without a doubt OpenSea. overall the most important thing to remember is that all of these platforms are excellent and all comes down to personal preference. So, you must decide whether to use Rarible or OpenSea. Know what you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. But before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up. This is Stock Market Now. We'll see you in the next video.